That's going to be well struck out to right field, and that is going to be gone for a home run. That was Cameron Meisner with that home run, a two-run shot. There's two outs, two on. Well struck to left. And yeah, Rivera's going to well. watch that one sail out of here. A three-run blast for Cameron Meisner. He's got two home runs today. Here's the 1-1. That's smashed out the oh, right field. This could no be a three-home run night for Meisner. That one sails on. Three home wow. runs. This one to lead off. And now the Bulls extend their lead by eight. How far do you think he's ran today? <laughs> My five-year-old daughter says that. So, yeah. Ground ball through the right side. Polkovich diving, couldn't get it. Two runs scoring. Throw goes to third. Runner is out. Play goes to second. Safe. Ooh, that was close. Very close, very nearly an odd-looking double play. Instead, it's a two-run hit for Vukovic with Chin and Duzanak scoring. Roberts out at third, nine to five. And Vukovic just getting in at second, ahead of the throw. Well, Vukovic with those two RBIs now has the Amarillo Sod Poodle single season record for runs batted in. He's up to 94 on the air, topping the total of Leandro Cedeno from last season. Here has welcomed us with open arms, especially the fans. Really means a lot as Williams takes inside that ball, missed him, ball four. And there's another piece of baseball history. Since 2005, when minor league baseball stat portal began, no teenagers have ever walked 100 times in a season until now. He gets your beat. Vivas to lead it off in the first pitch. Vivas sends out into left field. Costas is heading back, reaching for the wall. He leaps, and at the scoreboard, he hauls it in for the out. Sunglasses and hat off, but Marty Costas climbs the wall and robs Vivas of extra bases. Vasayo is 11 for 19 over his last five games. He's also walked six times in that span. Drives one deep right field. That one ain't coming back. A big bat spike from Vasayo as he watches it fly out of the yard. And the birds lead it one to nothing. Fire me up, Samuel Vasayo. Well, I didn't even get a chance to say that he has five homers in his last five games coming in but now make it six in his last six. This dude is white hot right now. Well, Vasayo crosses the plate. Well, he had a pretty sick bat flip. And the pitch. And Steven swings, lines one to right field, looping, diving, and a diving catch by Suleri. What a play by Alaric Suleri. He throws to second. Barber scrambles back. My goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Suleri coming from out of nowhere to make that diving play to rob Chad Stevens of a base hit. Here's the 2-2. Fly ball, right field, hustling to get it, killing it towards the line, dives, and he makes the catch! Outstanding play! Jared Kilnick had a ways to go to get it, and that ball was sinking fast. Kilnick just laid out and made the catch at the last moment. It was a great play. 2-1. Line drive, right field, coming on Kelnick again. Dives again and makes the catch again. Jared Kelnick with a fantastic seventh inning defensively retires the side. Diving towards the line, diving towards the infield. If it's in the air, he's going to get it. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Crushed in the air, right field, sprinting back Siani, looking at the bullpen. See you later. Carson Williams leaves the park for the 22nd time this season. The Tampa Bay Rays number two prospect does not miss, and Bowling Green leads two to nothing on Saturday night. Carson Williams with his 22 home runs now sits third on the list for Bowling Green. Under the bottom of the fifth inning from Bowling Green Ballpark, 4-3 lead for the Hot Rods over the Grasshoppers and the first pitch to Carson Williams. Deep drive down the left field line. See ya! It was barely able to stay fair. That's a multi-home run game for Williams. He's at 23, and he's now one shy of the franchise home run record. Things are starting to get interesting 
in the final weekend of the 2023 season. Oh, two again. Curveball, ground ball left side. Diving stop by Serta. He gets up, throws across the diamond, and it puts away Caleb Ricketts. My goodness, Jared Serta flashed the leather at shortstop. Like a base hit to the left side of the infield, and Jared Serta says, Not so fast, my friend. And the first pitch. Hit high in the air to right field. Heron's going back. He's at the warning track, and that one is gone. Jake McCarthy, another hit. That's another home run, his second of the week. A two-run shot, and that cuts the Isotopes lead in half. The score is now 4-2. to two. Distance 391 feet, exit velocity 100.3 off the bat. Pitch swung on, driven into right center field. This ball is gone! John Kenzie Noel sent it out of here in a hurry. His second home run in as many games, and the Clippers take a two to one lead. Now, Bob, when they can't find you on the radio dial, that's a hard hit ball. 108.9 off the bat. And the pitch. Get high in the air, deep to right field. Ball game! John Kenzie Noel, for the first time this year, has a multi-homer game, a solo shot back in the fourth, and he walks it off with a three-run bomb to the Pedialyte porch. The Clippers wait for him at home, coolers in hand. They are gonna mob the big man. Fireworks in the ninth inning. Fireworks coming up. The Columbus Clippers win it tonight by a final score of five to three against the Scranton Wilkes-Barre Rail Riders.